Okay, we're going to continue with our Cosmo magazine, and we're going to do a Katy Perry one. So I've found a picture on the web of Katy Perry, and this picture is a little bit small for our magazine. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, for the first thing we're doing is we're going to move it into a different layer, so it's not in our logo layer. And we're going to do a Shift T on that layer, and we do Control Left Mouse Button. Control Left Mouse Button does proportional scaling, so we're going to scale that. We're going to choose M for move, and we're going to move so we have no white on the top of the bottom. And up here I've created a layer group called Bylines, and in there I'm going to do a new layer group. I'm just going to call that Katie, and what I normally do is I do a layer group for every byline I create, just in case I want to move it. And I'll show you later on. So in that we're also going to do her name. And then we're going to do another byline. This one we're probably going to make it a little smaller. And now we're going to come up and we're going to just move them together a bit and change the colors. This one we can right justify. So it goes down her arm. We can also change the spacing between the lines a little bit, which is what a lot of magazines have very tight. And now what we can do is change the colors because normally what they do is they usually have consistent coloring that's consistent with this. They usually pick two or three colors that they're going to use. So we're going to use the same color here as the Cosmo head logo. And there we go. Now the great thing about layer groups is that if I select the actual layer group and do a shift and click somewhere in the layer group, I can actually move the whole layer group around as a group, which is actually pretty powerful. So we'll put the byline back and do a shift control J so we can see everything. And that looks pretty good. Next thing we're going to concentrate on is the Cosmopolitan here. The Cosmo headline here look exactly like this magazine where it looks like the Cosmo logo is behind her head. And the way we do that is for the layer mask. And we can go over here and we can add a layer mask to this. And the layer mask works is wherever you paint black, it actually goes to transparent. So we're going to paint here black. I'm just going to paint around and get rid of all of around her hair. And you don't have to worry about if you actually cut away too much, like in that case there. Because we can always go back and we change the color to white and we just paint back with the white. And sometimes you're better off to, to do that. And as you can see I've put too much back in, so I just put it back like this, just paint with a bit of black. And that looks pretty good. So shift control J. And that's exactly how we want it to look. So one last thing I can do is I can add a UPC symbol. And I do a Shift T and Control left mouse button to scale it. I can move it to position. And then I can just rotate it so it looks like some UPC symbols are actually on their side. And there we go. There's a the bit more of our magazine. <laughs>